fake, delusional, and disingenuous. He stands as a beacon of truth. He is Abuki Cabal. Listening to a Buki Cabal. Welcome to the Abuki Cabal Show. What's going on, everybody? Oh, welcome to the channel. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate you coming and spending some time and listening to uh, the shows that I, I produce. Uh, I hope you like the content. Um, if you hit that notification button, uh, that would help me out immensely. Um, I um, am going to cover uh, something that Judge Joe Brown uh, posted on um, Twitter, which um, uh, he said would probably alarm quite a bit of us. Uh, and uh, I must admit that I, I was kind of taken back by uh, by seeing the story. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll just go ahead and get to it because I mean, this is just, uh, this is, it's just an indication of how far we have, have slipped into, uh, the void, uh, so to speak, uh, of, of these, this new way of thinking about things and, uh, this, this running away from science and, and new making new science based off of the feelings and, and beliefs of people uh, who want to go in different directions. Let me just say that. I, you know, it's just um, it boggles the mind. So uh, without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and just, just get into this because uh, I mean, I, I, I have a few words that could actually uh, <laughs> describe this activity. Uh, All right, here we go. Got this story here. Uh, Sandra Rose, uh, it's about Harvard Medical School, offers a course in OBGYN pediatrics to identify LGBTQIA plus newborns and infants. So my question is, how can you identify a gay infant? Um, an infant is not even sexual. Uh, you don't know what your sexual preference is until you hit puberty. I mean, I just, <laughs> this is so far away from science. I mean, I just, science, biology, anatomy, and physiology. Uh, you know, this is just, this is insane. I can't believe this is being taught in a medical school. And this is the type of political pressure that I'm, I'm, I was talking about when I was talking about, you know, the, the diagnosis for homosexuality being taken out of the DSM man. Uh, it, it, this is the same political pressure that's being brought to bear by not only these gay organizations, but also these, these uh, 
you know, feminist organizations that are pushing this gay agenda as well. Okay. But, um, you know, I've shown you in the past where they've been pushing Disney. They've been trying to get at the children. My, my deal is, is why do you want access to the children so badly? Um, what is it that makes you feel like you've got to get the children? You have to, to, uh, to, uh, convert this next generation into this way of thinking and, you know, reassigning people and not even having people afraid to even say that that a child that's newborn is a boy or a girl based off of their genitalia. I mean, which is, that's what we've been doing for millions of years. Okay? I mean, for recorded history, which is like, what, five, five or seven thousand years, we've been doing this. Okay? And it's worked. But now, all of a sudden, our, well, the Western society, the United States, is going crazy. You know, and everybody else is looking at us and saying the United States is crazy. We might not have to do anything to them because they're going to self-destruct anyway. You know, this is this is insane. But let's let's get on to another. Harvard Medical School offers course in Abgen Pediatrics to identify LGBTQIA plus newborns and infants. Babies delivered at Boston area hospitals may be identified as LGBTQIA plus at birth in the very near future. Harvard Medical School is offering a course in specialty areas including abgen, pediatrics and plastic surgery. The course focuses on serving sexual minority people across the lifespan. The course is offered in conjunction with several Boston area hospitals, according to DailyMail.com. Boston Children's Hospital which is affiliated with the Harvard program, insisted some babies know they are transgender from the womb. It isn't clear how newborns communicate their gender identity to doctors at birth. Harvard Medical School will teach medical students what signs to look for. In a now-deleted video. Okay. Let's stop it right there. What signs would you look for in a newborn that's screaming, can't move its, you know, its legs and arms in a in a way that's controllable. Can't feed itself. Can't communicate. How are you going to be able to tell that that is is a uh, isn't isn't a boy or isn't a girl? That it needs to it's something in between. How are you going to be able to tell that? And how can they even formulate a course to look for signs that this new human being? That looks like it has the genitalia of a, of a boy or a girl, and they're just gonna, you know, determine that it's something else, and then they're gonna immediately start working on plastic surgery and, and other options for this person as they move through life, so that they can appear more to be female or male as they grow up. And so that what they're what they're trying to do is they're gonna start trying to start to to institute these this hormone therapy at earlier ages to try to to make these people uh, develop in a way that is going to stick around with them as they grow up okay we're already we're not talking about you know these people who are detransitioning and all that I'm going to get to that but there's a problem in this that that people are not talking about you know and they don't like to say that, you know, some of this is a phase and whatnot. And, you know, there's a, a period where these people go through uh, this period where they feel like they are something else. And it may be, uh, you know, in conjunction with depression and other things. But sometimes these people, after a while, say, look, I don't feel like that anymore. And wouldn't it be disastrous if you don't feel like that anymore after your penis is gone or after your vagina has been you know, altered? You know, things like that. But people don't think about these things and these, these tragic outcomes that happen. And we are, 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 are thinking about transitioning children now, okay? When I'm talking about adults who have made a decision or people who are, are you know, uh, post-puberty and uh, know that they uh, are basically pinging off of, uh, you know, a different sex, you know, now, that's not what we're talking about because they clearly have a little boy here dressed up as a little girl. 
and it just alarms me that our community is not up in arms that um this is where we're going now let's let's move back up a little bit here you know they show a little white baby then they show a a black boy you know knitting you know insinuating that he's you know something else then you have another black boy here who is dressed as a girl with lipstick on prepubescent okay being shaped and molded psychologically and physically into something else okay this is as a result of fathers not being involved in the home and these boys being pushed into a direction because they're around women they're not taken off like boys used to be and uh, start doing man things at a certain point in their age to where they start to develop property see now that we don't have that anymore we're we're so cushy and and comfortable in our all of our majesty uh, and technology you know things are just too easy for us so now we've got a lot of soft and moistness in uh, in our development but i want you to just kind of you know look on look at this and see where this is going you know an already fragile community is, is being targeted for more even more devastation you know, some people don't look at it that way they just think this is this is a new thing you know but um i uh i protest you know and i'm going to continue to protest so let's get on back to this Boston Children's Hospital suggested an even larger number of minors know they are trans as soon as they can talk. Medical students who go on to be abgen doctors will learn how to identify LGBTQIA plus babies and provide lifelong services to the child and its parents. Gender affirmation surgeries will also be performed on children. Clinical exposure and education will focus on serving gender and sexual minority people across the lifespan, from infants to older adults. What did I tell you? I'm going to tell you, they're going to start the process earlier. You know, that this means that this is going to be, now, we had a big uh, uproar about, you know, putting uh, gay people into these these uh, transition camps where they were basically being, you know, um, basically reformatted to where they, they are, you know, trying to make these people not gay anymore, okay? And they consider this to be almost like concentration camps. Well, Nobody's feeling the same way about basically starting children off, you know, before, as soon as they can talk and putting them into a transitional program that's going to alter their life before they ever even know what's, what's, what's real and what is what, okay? They haven't even been taught anything yet. So just off of the basic, you know, uh, knowledge and the, you know, we know how kids are. Kids say things that they don't mean. Kids do things that they don't mean. And we're just going to jump off and we're going to start, you know, making kids into uh, you know, other stuff. You know, here you have a kid here that's, you know, it's a girl, you know, but you're weaving. You're already putting weave in the girl's head. head. You know, you're, you're putting the rainbow colors in there. You're, you're adding the programming uh, at an age where this kid is impressionable. And... Um, the kid is being led in a way that the adults want want that person to go. Okay, it's not like it used to be. It's not Fisher Price. It's not you know playground girls and boys, you know, and doing your thing. Now it's you can be whatever you want to be, you know, and girls can do the same thing as boys. And if you want to be a boy, you can be a boy, and if you want to be a girl, you can be a girl, regardless of what biology tells you, regardless of what what you know cell biology tells you, genetics tells you. This is insane. This is truly insane. You know, and and what what's what boggles the mind is that how easily this has conquered every aspect of society, the judicial system, medical, you know, psychological, philosophical, you know, higher education, you know, preschool, elementary. 
all of these 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 establishments they just quickly and easily rolled over and just started doing this and nobody's given any kind of of objections i mean it's it's they're just simply taking territory And uh, nobody seems to think that this is wrong or anything is wrong. And anytime somebody says, look, I just, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be a part of this. I don't want to see this in my movies. I don't want to, you know, I don't want my kids around this. Then all of a sudden you're, you're a homophobe. You, you fear them. It's not that what they're doing is it goes against biology and every aspect of science. Because there is no science that backs this up. None. But it's being... Uh, instituted uh, in our, our systems. Now, uh, if the science is there, why don't they present it to us? Show it to us. Show us where the science is. You know, lay it out to us plain. You know, put it in crayons if you need to, because I need to understand why we're uh, uh, starting to put kids in sexual positions and uh, tell me how this is not uh, akin to uh, child predators. You know, tell me how this this is uh, you know, exposing kids to sex and, and things that are, are, are of a sexual nature before they're even you know old enough to even understand that. You know, back when I was growing up, and that wasn't that long ago. That you know, I'm an old guy. You know, kids were not supposed to be around any of that. But see now, you know, since we got the iPhone, the institution of the iPhone, and Androids and all of that, now everybody has a phone in their hand, even the children which some people didn't have enough sense not to put, put phones in their kids' hands when they were in, you know, elementary school. So kids were exposed to porn and all kinds of other things as they, you know, grew up because there were no locks on the phones. You know, they were able to freely move around the Internet, you know, and these phones, this electronics, they shaped their minds, molded them into, you know, kids... The kids that we have today, which are these kids have problems, you know, and uh, I'm going to discuss that a little bit more also, you know, that these kids are not as as uh, as mature as they used to be in the past. You know, these kids couldn't do what we did at the same age, you know, and that's a problem. And then we have, you know, adults who don't have any sense either. And they're directing these pe- these kids uh, in ways that in the past people would have been put in jail. And this is truly disturbing. Now, clinicians are going to start exposing and educating these kids and serving gender and sexual uh, minority people across their lifespan. You see that? Sexual minority people? Who do you think they're going to go for? Who do you think that they're after right now? Who who do they always say, you know, when they're talking in the... uh, with with all the, you know, the women going out, you know, talking that girl power stuff, you know, they always talk about, you know, women of color, you know, minorities. So they want, they want to quickly, you know, get you guys and make sure that you are all kitted out, you know, with your, your female parts, you know, so that you can quickly join their ranks and uh, continue to feminize our system, uh, which is gutting our system, making us unsafe. You know, we have no, uh, we have very little of a military now. Even the military has been conquered. You know, the military is, is starting to say that they can't see, say, sir or ma'am. They got to say something else. You know, they can't even differ, differentiate between male and female now. So um, you actually have some craziness there's no uniformity in the military like used to be there's no how do you 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 know keep chaos from from reigning you know in a system where uh, everything is uniform and now you have all of this this chaos in the system how do you how do you run anything with all of this and i mean you you, you've got it on the jobs you you got people coming in and you clearly see that this is a, a, a a a guy I mean, you got he's got braids in his head. He's got you know sideburns like Elvis and shoulders like you know Mean Joe Green. 
you know, and saying, you know, my name is, you know, a girl's name and you're, you're struggling not to say him uh, and he and uh, tell him what to do. And, you know, you're struggling with it because clearly this is a dude, you know, there's no stretch of imagination that could, that could lead you to believe that this is a woman. But because this person says that they're a woman, they're forcing me to 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 basically acknowledge their fantasy. This is crazy. This is where we are now. You know, change it up. If he, the guy thought he was a bag of fruity pebbles, you know, and I'm calling him a guy and he's saying I'm fruity pebbles, you know. I mean, it, it's no different than that. I mean, I can swap out a, a, anything for it. It just doesn't fit. You know, it's a puzzle piece that doesn't go. You know, and people who are of sane minds, when they they encounter this, I mean, obviously, it's just not going to compute for us. This is insanity. Well, let's move on. Alts. One service that will not be provided to LGBT plus children is mental health screening for potential mental problems. In an interview with the New York Times in January 2022, one of the program's directors, Dr. Alex Kiroglian, rejected mental health screening for transgender people. He said, I'm really not a believer in requiring that for people. Being trans isn't a mental health problem. Kiroglian added that mental health screening is not necessary for nose jobs breast augmentations or hysterectomies. Okay. That's because breast jobs are something that women elect to do. You don't have to get a, get a, a mental health screening for that because that's just, that's real cosmetic surgery. Okay. For a nose job, that's, that's cosmetic surgery also. You're elect, you're, that's an elective. Okay. You elect to do that. All right. Okay. And usually you pay for that out of your own pocket. Insurance doesn't pay pay for that unless you you been in an accident or something, you know. Uh, breast augmentations, okay, you got that. Okay, hysterectomies. A hysterectomy is done because the, there are conditions that require hysterectomies to be done because they they uh, involve pain, dysfunction, you know, uh, uncontrolled bleeding, things like that. Okay, those are actual medical issues. Now, uh, you. Used to we used to have to do uh, uh, mental health screenings for people uh, who were transitioning. Now they're making it so easy to transition that you don't have to even you don't have to do anything. There's no no cooling off period to where you really really think we really figure out that this isn't a phase for you. This is something that you really really feel like you need to do. And I, I mean this shouldn't even be a, 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 this shouldn't even be happening in children. Period. You know. I feel like the government needs to get involved. Somebody needs to get involved. The communities need to get involved and shut this down. Uh, but this is ridiculous. Children are being targeted to be gender reassigned before, just after they can talk. This is insane. I mean, I don't know about y'all. I've been around a lot of children. I worked in a pediatric clinic. You know, I've seen kids who look like they're going to go that way, but it's around about the time when they when it looks like they're going to go that way. Okay. But nobody's trying to tell a kid that they're the other way. You know, uh, this, this doesn't happen. Okay. And now this brand new class after hundreds of years of medicine, now there's a brand new class that's going to come out and tell you how to determine that a kid, a, a child, an infant is gay. I guess they're just going to throw Maslow's hierarchy of needs. They're going to throw that out the window now. So there is no no period where development ha takes place at a certain time and we see certain things in development. This is part of psychology. This is a part of, of human development. Uh, they're going to throw all of that out the window now. Everything that we had to go through in school and we had to learn, all that's trash now. Because you can just be trans any, any time that you want to be. You know? They're actually going to go and do this. This is this is crazy. People uh, need to go get their kids. You know, if, if I mean, I, I don't see any guys pushing their kids to do this. 
You need to go get your kids. Fathers need to go get their kids. Go get them. And allow these children to be children. Stop exposing these children to sexual things. Stop allowing these, these transsexuals to read to these children, exposing these children to these, these, you know, these people who are dressed up like things that they aren't. There's no reason for a transsexual to go and read to a, to, to a child. I mean, you can't even take, take a child to a drag show, a, a transsexual little, you know, show where they're doing it because it's, it, there's sexual things on it. You know, did a story on in Florida where they were having kids. Suppose they had kids at a, at a, at a drag show. That's insane. So that means you took a kid into a gay bar and had them around a bunch of folks who were doing sexual things and having, you know, drag shows that have sexual themes to the point to where the government has to tell you, if you do it again, we're going to shut you down. If we find any evidence of you doing this, we're going to shut you down. You know, kudos to him. I don't really care for the guy, but, you know, I wholeheartedly support that. Okay. And more of that needs to happen. This is, this is, this is crazy. You know, these people who support this, they need to be voted out because this is crazy. I mean, I can't tell you, I, I'm so, um, I'm so upset by this and being someone in, in healthcare. This is, this is, this is nuts, you know, but this is where we are people. I mean, uh, you know, I, I, you guys tell me what you, uh, you know, <laughs> what you think about it in the comments and, uh, we can, you know, I, I look forward to the, to the comments on this. I look forward to, uh, to us really having a conversation about this mess because this is a mess. You know, um, shout out to Judge Joe Brown for finding this and posting this. Um, I haven't looked at his, his but, you know, the comments on, on his post, but uh, he put the link up and, uh, you know, invited us to go ahead and read it. And um, it was a it was a tough read. It's short, but it's a tough read, you know. And if you're not looking for it, you're not going to see. And that's what's happening now, is that you know uh, this, some of this stuff is just whizzing on by us, and uh, they don't expect us to know anything about it. They're not really trying to to uh, to let us know anything about it. Um, they are just you know pushing this stuff through just underneath the surface, just like a submarine. You don't even see it. You don't hear it. And then before you know it, you walk in there and then it's like, this wasn't here yesterday. You know, we got, we got transitioning kids now. I mean, this, this wasn't happening. I mean, I, when did this get, get pushed through? You know? But that's where we are. You know, I mean, you guys tell me if I'm crazy or not. I, I mean, I just, I feel like this is nuts and uh, I just don't understand you know, where we're going, where we're going to be in, you know, the next five, 10 years, you know, 15 years, uh, what kind of society we're going to have because uh, this is where we are. You know, people were trashing Matt Walsh for going out and, and saying, what is a woman? People can't, people can't even say what a woman is now. I mean, they're saying that we're, we're forcibly assigning gender now. As, as medical professionals on kids who haven't even declared that they're a boy or a girl yet. You know, that kid has declared that they're a boy or a girl. You know, now, I mean, I know we got teachers amongst us, you know, that can, can go into this a little bit deeper than I can as far as their, their cognitive ability uh, outside of, of the physiology part of it. Um, and I can tell you that I don't believe a teacher would ever, you know, say that a kid that young will be able to make any kind of determination as to what what should be done uh, with them in life. You know, uh, can't trust them to make serious decisions. You have to instill some kind of discipline into those ch children, and uh, you know, have them show them how to act right in society. That's where they're taught. You know, and these people are just willy nilly ready to just. You know, give their kids to this uh, fast-moving uh, conversion machine. 
but hey, that's all I got. Um, you guys, you guys, please let me know. You know, guys, girls, you know, whoever's listening, please let me know how this makes you feel. And um, what, do you, what do you think we should do about this? Because this is truly disturbing. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys the next time. Like a motherless child